Hello, everyone. Hope you all are well. Today, I'm here to talk about um, a liability which gets forgotten and missed in a small business. It does come as a shock when someone leaves after long term. And generally, that's what happens in small businesses. There's one or two person who's got major responsibility and they never take leave or even if they take leave, they're probably still working. Um, and when they leave, then they've got a lot of leave. <laughs> so a lot of annual leave to be, to be paid and perhaps long service leave as well, depending when they leave. So, or when they quit, maybe I should use the word quit. So it's a good idea um, to have that in the balance sheet, or um, if you don't want to add that in the balance sheet, because the small business is no need for complexity to at least send a leave liability report to the client, even with like with the BAS report or um, you know, whatever your regular communication is on a monthly basis, quarterly basis, but I think it is an important liability for clients to understand, small businesses to understand. So let's quickly go to zero and share my screen. I'm quickly going to first get leave liability, leave report. So we'll go leave balances report and we're going to group it by, say, so let's just go we want to look at everything until 31st of March. And then I'm going to group it by leave time. Okay. So I know that there's $286 of annual leave. I don't care about personal leave. So I can PDF that and attach that to my journal. Okay. So I'm just going to leave that as is for a minute. And then I'm going to create some chart of accounts because leave liability is probably not already in there. If it's already in there, awesome. So uh, my first chart of account here is going to be, I'm just going to put whatever number at the moment um, and I'll go annual leave liability as excluded. And then I'm going to create, I should have copied that. Then I'm going to create a liability account so, um, sorry, it's a little bit slow here. Then we get another account, a liability account. Again, I'm just going to get whatever number here. Obviously, you will use more sense me into that. Um, so, I leave liability. So, I think I should have, yeah, I probably, I should have done annual leave expense. So, liability, just let me just do it this way. Okay, so I'm just going to fix it right here. I'm going to change the name of the expense account to annual leave expense. Cool. All right, so all we then do is journal entry. We debit our leave expense account, obviously, depending on where what's going to happen, like what's, uh, you know, whether it's reducing or increasing leave. So there you go, annual leave balance. 31st March 2022 and we've got annual leave expense which was I think 286 you obviously get the exact amount there so we then keep adding the journals in there that way um, you know every month or every quarter client does know how much um, how much liability does their business have i think it's a very important report and it's um it's not given much importance unfortunately but it's important for clients to know where they're standing at as long as their employee liability is concerned i hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new um, and i'll see you in the next video